What's up, guys? It's Dragon here, and I'm doing a top five siege operators. And the number five spot is um, Buck. Buck is in the number five spot because, yeah, he's useful. He's useful, um, especially if you're a good player to use him. Um, he is a DLC operator. He's 2,500 or 2,500,000. 2, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. He's definitely not 2,500, but 25,000 is. Yeah, and um, so Buck is good because if you ru run out of ammo in the skeleton key, he <laughs> skeleton key, which is the underbarrel shotgun that he has, which is his um, special or special or slash attachment or whatever you want to call it or gadget, and his main weapon is the cameras foul slash the MK whatever the fuck is called and um, yeah he has two grades and the skeleton key is a very good close range weapon and he technically has three weapons the pistol skeleton key and his assault rifle and the only reason he's not higher on the list is just because he is very selfish you know because it's a selfish kind of play because you know like most of the attacking heroes or operators sorry thinking about overwatch don't don't really help um, with the team so yeah, that's why he's not higher up in the list. Yeah, that's Buck. And in the number four spot is Frost. Yep, Frost because her welcome mats are very useful. Her weapons are good and all that good shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, the gadget's good, weapons are good. But mainly, like, the way Frost looks is cool. Like, come on, you're not gonna tell me that you don't look like a ninja, a really slow, fat ninja. But, like, the welcome mats are really, really useful. Um, you can put them out windows, and that's a definite down if they don't shoot them. And on IQ, uh, and Th Thatcher's EMP won't destroy them if he rolls them under a door, and IQ scanner won't pick them up. And so, this is why you can easily put them down at windows, because if there's an IQ that is scanning for any electronics, and they, they know that there's a frost there, they'll look for the um, electronic uh, slash the bear trap, and they won't see it, and so they'll think that there is no bear trap there, because I doubt anyone knows that you can't pick up um, the bear traps on the IQ scanners. So yeah, her weapons are very good. The Super 90 is still a beast, even though it did get um, nerfed. Nerfed to shit. Like it was, all the semi shotguns were really good. Nerfed to shit, like is a shittier version than it, but of it. But it's still an amazing weapon, and there's no reason for you to not use it or any of the semi-automatic shotguns, semi-auto shotguns. Sorry. And yeah. Frost is good at medium to close range to long range with the red dot on the um, 9mm or whatever it's called, the, the submachine gun. It's long, medium to close range, but I don't suggest doing close range with it if you have a suppressor. But, um, you know, as, as I say don't do it, I, I, I do it you know yeah um without suppressor it's good at close range with suppressor it's, it's it's good at close range just it's not as good and um medium to long range the weapon is very good super 90 is really 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 good it's gonna probably one shot at close range and two shot at medium range whatever you call medium range <laughs> and long range you're not even gonna hit so yeah that's Frost, and that's the, the summary of Frost. And the number three spot is Valkyrie. Uh, why Valkyrie? Because her cameras are amazing. And look at this clip. Just watch this clip. Her and her MPX and Spaz 12 are really good. She has a nitro cell, all that you know, good stuff. She really feeds her team the intel. And if you have a Valkyrie on your team or on the opposing team, you're screwed, or else. You know, you're good, but the Deagle is not good at medium range. I say it does its best at close range. You see, I made the mistake at going to um, medium range with a Thermine trying to get it through, this, through the seat. And 
that was my mistake and that's why I put the clip of me dying as Valkyrie in here just to show you guys that you should you really shouldn't um you really shouldn't use the deagle uh, medium range especially through um, chairs because yeah because they might went around because the deagle is fucking retarded because it didn't go through the fucking chair but fuck me anyway it doesn't matter um <laughs> you know the number two spot is blitz if you didn't know and yeah i picked blitz because he's like montagne but a lot more selfish and i like blitz but i like montagne more but blitz is more of a he's, i say he's a better character because you can go off by yourself and still protect your team even though one nitro cell and he's out so three strikes one nitro cell is three strikes Unless you survive that nitro cell, which yeah, you're a hacker, Illuminati, stuff like that. You know, um, that's the reason Blitz is not supposed to survive that shit. You know, if there's a grenade, you're supposed to fucking die, just die. Please, especially when you see Dragon Leader throwing a, a impact grenade or a, a C4. Now oh, look at that Ash's aim, come on. Please, someone tell me that that Ash's aim is almost a f that was almost a full mag that was half that was one fourth of a mag into a camera and you're at point blank range it took me one shot like come on bro and his pistol is really good especially with um no attachments but if you want to add a suppressor or a red dot that is completely fine does not affect the weapon in any way well the suppressor does but i don't really like it says it does um damage the weapons it does damage the weapons damage I mean, is what I'm saying, and yeah, that's what it does. It damages the weapon's damage. And look at this wall bang. Oh, that was so good, so good. Oh my god, oh my god. I can't believe I got that. But Blitz can be sneaky enough, because if someone comes running at you, like Jaeger or yeah, Jaeger really, and just Castle and anyone without a C4 or impact grenade you can easily flash and tank see Jaeger was peeking there and he actually shot me a few times I think um yeah uh Jaeger is very easy to take out with Blitz and overall Blitz is just a good character and I rate Blitz I he's like the only person here I'd rate besides number one but he can easily get wrecked by people like that and my shit aim. Mother f <laughs> I hate docs. I hate docs who just do that. And the number one spot is Caviera. Okay, so I rate Caviera a 9 out of 10. Just because of the semi auto shotgun nerf. The only reason she gets a 9, she get a 10 if the thing was back. The semi auto shotgun nerf was not a thing. But her M12 is amazing. I think it's the best, one, the second best submachine gun in the game after the UMP45 or the UMP45 is what I call it, just because you know it's faster to say. And like her um, special, or yeah, her special because it's not a gadget, is Silent Step, where you run around the map silently for about. 45 seconds to 50 seconds to a minute. I don't know what that time is, but yeah 45 50 and 60 It's in between them them seconds or 60 in, Is one minute for all you precise people Yeah, and um, This is notably awkward the way I'm speaking for Caviera because I can't really like speak about her because like I have I have thought about everyone else besides her I don't know why, I just haven't, like, got a script in my brain for her. Anyway, I almost got an ace here. Especially because of this interrogation. And this was the best thing happened to my teammates. And this is why you don't roam alone when there's an enemy caviera. <laughs> Look at this shot, though. Come on, you can't say that was bad. I hit him with an impact grenade and a shot, a semi-auto while he was while he was um diving in i see triple already and there was only four of them and look i chase him i just sneaky i sneaky him i sneaky him with two shots 
Oh my goodness. Anyway, guys, that's it. I rate Caviera 9 out of 10, you know, and Blitz 8 out of 10. You know, could I? Bye!